Hey you guys, it's me Laura with Scraps of Encouragement and today I'm here with you for another card sketch challenge and I can't wait to share this one with you. You may have noticed that I've been doing a few different kinds of videos lately. I've been playing with things, we've been in a middle, the middle of a move, but I thought this would be a great opportunity to do some experimenting. So I'd love to hear what you have been thinking of the different styles of videos that I've been sharing with you. Um, I've been having a lot of fun experimenting, but today I have another fun sketch card for you. I love cards that have simple watercolor backgrounds. I am a watercolor fan for sure. So that's the main point of today's sketch is a basic watercolor background and then you can use dyes, you can use stamps, you can use stickers, you can use just about anything to create the sentiment on your card. For the card I'm going to show you today, I'm going to show you how to do this with die cuts and I'm also going to show you how to do it with just stamps. If you don't like to paint, if you don't want to paint, if that feels a little too involved for you, I also have an option using just stamps for you. So let's go ahead and jump into this card. I'm going to start with a piece of watercolor paper that is four and three quarters by three and a half inches. For this card, I'm using my gorgeous great stampin' pad and I'm just going to smash that ink into the cover and use that to paint on my card. Before I add the color though, I'm going to go ahead and paint over the whole thing with just some water and this is just going to make the ink travel when I bring it to the paper. This doesn't have to be precise or anything, just a messy coloring of paint until you like what you've got on the paper. While that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and work with my dies. Now I'm using this sketch. You can use anything that is the size that you're going to end up with and I am lining my dies up on the page so I can see how they're gonna fit, how the spacing is gonna work, if it's gonna make it on the page. And then I have each of my letters lined up beside each other. You can also put a ruler under this or something to make sure that they're straight. And once I have all my letters lined up, I'm using a piece of washi tape to stick over the back of it so that they're all together there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the paper that I'm gonna be cutting out of. I'm doing black letters, so I'm gonna tape this on my black piece of paper and I'm gonna run it through my dye just like that. Now that my watercolor background is dry, I'm gonna go ahead and tape that onto my grid paper. I'm using a piece of washi tape that I put on the back of my hand to make sure it's not gonna rip my paper. This will just keep it from moving around so that I can make sure everything is straight. Then I'm using the negative space from the paper where I use, had my die cuts and I'm lining that up with my grid paper as well, again, to make sure that everything is all straight. Once I have this taped down, it's really just a matter of putting together a puzzle. So I'm gonna take all of the letter pieces and my fine tip glue pen, and I'm gonna stick those into the spots there. I'm using my take a pick tool to help me out here. You don't have to have that, it does make it easier. So I'm just adding my glue to these spots and sticking the pieces in. This keeps everything straight and keeps the spacing right so that I know that everything is right where it's supposed to be. Then once I have all my letters glued down, I'm just gonna peel off that negative space. And there, I have my letters on my card front. They're nice and straight and it all looks good. I love the way this turned out. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add a matte layer behind it. It's a piece of basic black that's four and seven eighths by three and five eighths inches. I'm just gonna glue my watercolor paper to that panel. And then I'm also doing a panel that is four inches by five and a quarter inches of Gorgeous Grape, which is the same color I used for that background. And then I'm sticking that whole thing onto my white card base. That's a standard size card base. For the inside, I'm just going to duplicate layers of those colors. I have a piece of Whisper White that's three and seven eighths inches by five and one eighth inch, a piece of Basic Black that's four inches by five and a quarter inches, and then a piece of gorgeous grape that is four and one eighths by five and three eighths inches. And I'm just gonna glue all those together and layer them up to give a more finished look on the inside of my card. I didn't wanna add watercolor to the envelope because it's not watercolor paper, although you could fold your own envelope from watercolor paper. Instead, I thought I would take one of these paint splotches from the Artisan Texture stamp set and use that to stamp a paint splotch on the front of my envelope and I can just write directly over that for my address and that is this card. 
Now I wanted to show you how to do this completely without any paint or water or any of that, just stamps, ink, and paper. I'm going to be using the Artisan Texture stamp set again in that same stamp that I used, and I'm using Grapefruit Grove on this one. Then I'm just going to take this stamp and stamp it in the middle of my card. I'm using a small note card for this. You can also make this bigger by stamping over and over again. Just play with your paint swatch stamps to see what kind of look you like. And then I'm using my Tuxedo Black Memento Eek ink and this sentiment from the Butterfly Gala stamp set and just stamping it right over. And then you can get a similar look for a super quick and easy card. Like I said, I totally love this sketch and this design. These are a few other cards that I came up with using this same basic sketch. For this card, I die cut out the words thank you. And then I used some shimmery crystal effects to go over the die cut so that it would be a little bit raised and feel a little bit more like an enamel element. And then I just glued that directly onto my card. For this one, I used some Versamark ink to stamp on my painted portion of my card and then I heat embossed with white embossing powder over the top of it. You could also do this in a reverse way where you heat emboss it first and then you paint over it and it will do a resist technique. So either way will work for that card. And then for these, I simply stamped over a watercolored image. So I just made my watercolor spotch and I used my Stamparatus or stamping tool to make sure that I got a good crisp stamp because especially when you're stamping on watercolor paper, sometimes it doesn't come out clean. So you can stamp it a few times and get a great impression. I'd love to hear what you think of this card sketch and I'd love to see what you do with it. Be sure to use the hashtag SOE sketch challenge on Instagram or Facebook so that I can see your creation or feel free to email them to me as well. Thank you so much for joining me today. And as always, I hope you find joy in creating as you spread kindness and encouragement with your scraps of paper. I'll talk to you later. Bye.